How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome back again to the 100 Days Drawing Series. We're on day 6, almost day 10. Almost a tenth of the way there, 10%. In this one I have something special that we're gonna try together. In this episode, or should I say day? We're gonna try to draw the head using the perspective from the last video. Uh, we're gonna try draw like a Loomis head or some sort of anime head in this perspective. Which is gonna be interesting. So... We, first, we have to figure out the placement of our head. I'm just going to get started straight away. So, let's see here. I want the cube to be quite even. And the head is going to be quite large. Let's keep going. And then, like that... I think... No, I messed up the perspective, didn't I? No, I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. Okay, so yeah, so it really just does go like that. Okay. And then what I figured out is something really awesome last episode. So we'll draw an eye line right bang in the middle of this cube. Like, I just came to a realization. I was watching a lot of perspective drawing videos on how to, like, draw characters in perspective. Oh my god, can I draw a straight line? There we go. Let's just get rid of that line. Because otherwise it's going to confuse the hell out of me. And all of you as well. So there we go. Okay, so as you can see, this will be the front of the head and now if we draw the line that's in perspective that cuts through the middle that is where our eyes should be and if you remember that if we draw in the opposite direction now from that line this is where our ears will begin um so i i literally just clocked that so again if we find the middle Like this, and then cut across the other way. Look at that. Okay, so what is going on here? We use the axis to find the middle, which is good. And we basically draw that line. And then we draw this line. Okay, now if we dim this, we dim the perspective even more. It will look very bright for you guys, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But now we're going to draw the cranium. On this side. First. And then look at this. We can literally just draw the shape of the head as we see fit. Let's actually start from the cheekbone here. Like this. So I reckon... Okay, this line right here is bad. Uh, okay, let me think. Should we draw the nose and stuff? No. You don't want to map the features on the face before you even have the head drawn. That's not how this works. Okay, I mean... It goes out... And up... And down... So this would be our circle in perspective, right? And then if we paid attention... I'm now gonna cut... the circle into different pieces. We're gonna have... The head... The main part of the head like this. And then if you paid attention to our X from before... We're gonna have the cranium here. On this side. Cut across, and because the surface curves, we have to curve it. Look at this, we're actually building a head from basic shapes right now. I cannot believe this. The ear would go here, just gonna quickly map the ear. You know what, 
before I even draw the ear, we can just do our proportions first. So half of this, again, perspective, very important. Like that. So this is where our nose would be, I believe. Wait, no, it'd be here even. Since it's a circle that we've cut, it's going to be something like that. That's where our nose would be. This is why you want to draw <laughs> in one stroke. I cannot emphasize this enough. I draw in a lot of strokes like a dumbass. Do not do what I do. Um, because otherwise you're going to be searching for a while. Okay, so here we go, the ear. Goes there. We're mapping the head at a proportionate angle, okay? Let's say our chin is right there. Right at the bottom of the box is our chin. And that does seem proportionate. As in the eye line to the nose line and then the nose line to the chin. That does seem correct. And then look at that, we can curve that back in. Um, as a curve that goes from this. The neck. I think goes there. I can't really remember what the hell happens here. So I'm not even going to draw that curve. But we do know... Hold on, we do know that the jawline starts from the ear. So if it follows perspective, it would look like this. Hey, look at that. We're building a goddamn head. And then the neck... Wow, we built a goddamn head, a Loomis head, in perspective, would you look at that? If we map this down, get rid of a cube, we actually have a friggin' head in perspective. I think. I don't know how accurate this is. I think it should be pretty accurate. So, if we make a new layer, we can now stylize this head to make it an anime head from here onwards. So if we go like this and then curve it in, out, in at the eyes, out again at the head. A nose. Now I don't know how to draw noses in this angle. I would have to look up a reference. But I can draw an ear. I need to practice drawing ears too in perspective anyway, but... For the most part we should be alright. With an ear because it's a simpler shape. And then the neck. And in perspective you have this kind of thing. Okay. And then whoop is what happens. Because you're drawing the contour of a neck. The middle of the neck would be somewhere around there, I think. I think. Uh, and then from past that contour point, everything curves towards this vanishing point. And past this contour on the left, it will curve towards that point. And if we get over the line, because this line is too long. These lines are usually way smaller. Like that. This, this is a guy's head. You can tell by... The more chiseled jawline, it's a it, it's a lot more square here, whereas a a woman's jawline is more curved here. So I guess we're drawing a dude now. 
Okay. So we kind of stylized the shape of the head a little bit. Now we can draw the eyes and the nose and all that. Eyebrows only go up to the cranium. Like this. Eyes don't go anywhere near. I think anime eyes would look weird on his head, so I'm actually just going to draw more realistic eyes this time. <laughs> okay, one thing I see already is that this cranium is too huge in comparison to the front of the face. Which is fine, you know, we can always push uh, limits. So his eyes would actually start from like here. And then those eyes would actually be pushing the edge of the head. And perspective, boom. Again, check to see if your eyes line up in perspective. So what you would do here, I know this is a curved surface, but if you still, ah, oh, actually it's pretty hard. I think you just follow the contours here. Someone tells me these eyes are still too close. But if I look at the top right, if you look at the top right, you can kind of see what it looks like from further away. It's a lot easier to tell that way, to see if something is accurate or not. <laughs> oh my god. That is my attempt at the nose, Keg W. Mouth. Yeah, that contour as well. You know what's funny? I can't map stuff to this head very well. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the center line being so far away from the ear. So you have this massive distance here. I don't know. I feel like we drew the head well, though, right? We drew the head well, in this perspective at least anyway. It makes sense to me that it's... We're getting a view from here. And we're looking from the side. We're looking at the free quarter view. Uh, the free quarter view is what I struggle with the most of <laughs> as well anyway. Uh, just in general. <laughs> it, it almost looks like the Roblox man face. And then shoom. <laughs> it looks so funny. Like, what is this? What is this guy? Is this a guy? What is this? It doesn't look like a dude at all. And then the hairline goes something like this I think right I, I don't know again I, I, I have no clue what's going on here
Okay, this head looks completely goofy. I don't know what I did with the mapping of the face to this. But this looks like a complete and utter twink. Let's try draw another head. I feel like if I put the eye on this... Oh, that's, that looks like Sid. Hold on. Yeah, on this spot it looked a lot better than it did here. Just a little bit further away because with perspective you need to fit an eye there. And then an eye here. So technically... It would be even more to the side, it'd be like here. Like that. And that would look accurate, but this character looks hella goofy anyway. He looks really funny. <laughs> One could say I'm not proud of it. But at the same time, I kind of am, because we did a head in perspective. Let's, let's give him like a... Like a sad smile. Sad smile. Let's just give him a smile like that. Like a very subtle... Subtle smile. With the chin line there. He looks less like a twink. And actually looks like a proper character. Okay. So that's our first head. In 3D space. I thought this would be harder than it actually is, but I actually found the mapping, the goddamn facial features to be even harder than the actual head itself. Let's try to draw one more for the video. One more head, but this time I'm just gonna speed through it. I'm gonna speed run a little bit. So let's just get go, go ahead and try. I go at another face, this time probably looking upwards and away, which is going to be even harder. Even damn harder. So we're looking from below.
<laughs> okay, you know what? I feel like that's the best of what I got. But, man, mapping the eyes and stuff is super hard to the head. I feel like the head shape in general, I friggin' nailed that. I friggin' nailed that. I feel like I really did. The only thing I didn't feel confident about is where the hell the... The chin? Like, how do you draw this overlap here where it's showing the underside of your chin? Because usually... People just draw a line, like I did here. They just draw a line. And then they draw the rest of the features like that. And I think that is gonna be the way to go. I think that is the way most people do it. So if we draw this again, and try to see the shape within this perspective, where the ear is. Boom. It's just very hard to draw the features in after. I feel like, again, I, I feel like I feel like the head is the easy part at this point because I can draw that from a cube, unless the proportions are completely wrong, which they might be. They might actually be because oh, the mouth is there, the nose is there, and the thing is because she, this person's looking up. The eyes and the nose are a lot closer, and then the nose and the chin's a lot closer, which I, th I think it does make sense in this case. Hold on. We just rub that out. Rub this out, because that's just the mouth line. Yeah, the head does just look accurate. I don't know what I could do better. We're going to have to study a lot more. So next episode, I feel like we're going to study a lot more heads in general. Uh, look at a lot more references. And try to break those down into perspective drawings. And maybe try draw things from different angles. So if we see a reference, for, for example, something easy, I want to say like, Maybe a KFC bucket. <laughs> Just because I'm completely trolling, right? So let me just quickly draw up a sketch for like a KFC bucket. See, this is this would be the bucket from a horizon view. And then it would have like KFC written all over it. And the next thing I feel like we need to work on is finding the contour of things. Because my issue is I don't know how to draw curved shapes in 3D space. Like, uh, say for example, you wanted to draw like a, a dildo. <laughs> well, not, not really a dildo, but like a rounded object. It'd be tough for me. Uh, because I don't know where the contour is, like, what contour is, is for example, if I drew you the chest, if I break it down into this cube right here. It's finding the middle line of the chest, like, it goes out, right? Because it's not going to be flat, like I've been doing. It's all good and dandy if we can find the middle, but that's for a flat shape. The moment this box becomes a little bit curved, I don't know what happens. So, when a chest curves, it, it, it warps this middle line to becoming like this, I think. But I don't know if this is the exact line that would happen. Uh, so this is why I want to break down more gesture drawings next time again. But this time break them out down into perspective and actually do the basic blocks that are accurate instead of the ones that aren't. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, so here's our result of sketching the first head. And then our second head is right there. So 
If you guys enjoyed, as always, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. But apart from that, I'll see all of you in the next one. Things are going to get very tricky from now on. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.